This is Eric Mwadha from Mwadha.com, April 2nd, 2020. Let's take a look at crude oil, which is having a good day. We can see that at the highs of the session, crude oil was up almost 25, 26, 27% at the highs of the day. So it's coming off the highs a little bit. And we can use USO, which is also having a good day, to take a look at the real-time short-term charts. So USO up about 18, 19%. Now I'll show you on the two hourly what it looks like but before we do so it might make sense to have a little bit of a better understanding of the big time frames right now the big time frames on the monthly we are seeing USO coming off the 30.9 threshold and so this is needed if there's gonna be a recovery as far as the energy stocks and crude oil is concerned they need to hold above RSI 30.9 on the monthly as of right now, on the weekly, we can see the weekly continues to stay in that very bearish territory below RSI 30.9. So the weekly, we're not seeing any sign of recovery here as long as the RSI is below 30.9. Now, visually, it would be similar to this area here where we had to come off this 30.9 bearish territory before we could see any type of a move higher which is this movement above 30.9 corresponding with this weekly price action so on the weekly rsi continues to be very bearish now on the daily we can see we are coming off that 30.9 level today which is why we are seeing this move higher now the issue here is that even though we are moving above rsi 30.9 for the day there's a problem and the problem is the one i've been highlighting is the fact that we've spent a lot of time below the 30.9 level which means that chances are around here there's going to be some tremendous pull lower based on the fact that we spent a lot of time below RSI 30.9. Now but what I'm saying is because we've spent a lot of time below 30.9 we can use the small time frame to try and gauge where there's going to be a reversal lower hence the reason for this video. Now after a nice update for today we can see on the two hourly a couple of observations. Number one if we take a look at the top side resistance line on the RSI, we can see that this is where the market is going to have to contend with potential resistance. It's a simple line connecting the highs. And as of the highs of the session, we can see clearly that this is where prices stalled at about 550 or so. In other words, the only way we move higher as far as crude oil and USO is concerned, we would have to take out this line to the upside. Otherwise, confirmation of resistance on this line suggest that the next meaningful direction is actually now gonna be lower given some of the RSI 30.9 values especially on the weekly now there's another way to arrive at the same conclusion which is to figure out where we broke down before the most recent slide and this is can be done by taking a look at the RSI RSI broke down right there just above RSI 50 on the two hourly and we can use my method which I call the uniformity method to figure out any future resistance areas again we draw a line from here which is a horizontal line it so happens very nicely and conveniently to be showing potential area of resistance as of the highs of the session so as long as we are trading below those two lines chances are this is now setting the stage for the next major trend to be to the downside and again the only way to cure this resistance area, to take, a, take care of this resistance area, is to clear above those two resistance lines. That's the two hourly. If we take a look at the four hourly, we can see the four hourly also, same type of interpretation using the uniformity method, my own original method. We can see a break here of the RSI gave us this most recent slide area, which is here. Take that information, extend it. As a uniformity resistance line now I should point out here that this so happens to be around that critical RSI level of 38.2 again this is the four hour and using that line we see that we've stalled previously here which is the highs there and again we seem to be stalling right there so if we continue trading lower below the line this is suggestive that the next major trend as far as crude oil is concerned and USO is lower 
Otherwise, what bulls want to see is a decisive break to the upside above this resistance line again, which happens to be around the 38.2 level. So those are the things to consider in the short term if you are trading a small time frame. This is Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see. Yes, and so it is.